Hello, Cottage Crew. I'm Cottage Corners, and I'm having a pretty bad day today. Yeah, I literally just got kicked out of my room just to do this. So... And also, this is, like, a real position I am where, like, the chair, like, watch me, like, I'm near the balloon, and I can't really, like, lean back. Like, have I always leaned back? I don't know if I've always have, but... Yeah, that's like the situation I'm in right now, so. But I can get comfortable and used to this, I guess. Yeah, see, I was like, I don't even know what happened to the table. And, yep, so we're continuing the candy I see always, and. Yep, just because of my mom, I'm not in a good mood today, so. Yep, so thank you. Besides, if it wasn't for her, then I wouldn't even be doing this. Because usually, I, whenever I do videos, I always have, like, my phone above, like, above 60%. But now it's in 53, so, yep, thank you so much. I mean, my tablet, my tablet. Did I always say tablet? I don't know. Yeah, so I didn't expect, like, seriously, usually I'm in a more excited mood or something like that, because, you know, in order to get to this hell, we need, you know, some happiness and some boosting energy, like, whenever I'm bored, I can do these, but, yeah, not anymore, and if you're wondering about, you know, like, I forgot to talk about my future project, so, yeah, the music video, yeah, I'm coming into it, it's, yeah, so far, like, yeah, so far it's coming. It's coming. I always say that it's coming when, I mean, it is coming. Well, like, I remember usually when I talk about Ontario, then I was like, oh, yeah, so, yep, Ontario is coming. Whenever I give hints in it, it usually comes, like, either the same day or tomorrow. But now with my music videos, like, it takes a long time to edit, especially since it takes a lot of green screen and editing techniques, like, you know, like the four way, like the four way channel, like that's one is like the hardest. And that was like, well, at least I'm done with it, so I don't have to use it again. And yeah, I'm already in the music part, like I think maybe halfway. And yeah, so that's the music video. It shares a positive message also, you know, about what's going on. Yep, and a lot of quotes and all that stuff. And um, what else do I have planned? Oh yeah, plan oh yeah. Um, like I was originally, my God, I I'm still thinking of what to call the mini the mini movie. So I plan it to be like only just a mini movie, like a one time thing. Then I'll go back to the Fallen Angels. So yeah. So, Princess Boy, I love, or Beaucolum, which also means Crystal Ball. But, you know, Beaucolum is like the planet that she lives in. And, yeah, I'm still working on making that movie. Yep. And I already have, like, some clips there. So, yeah, so I'm planning to do that. And also, along with the Ontario credits, I already started at the beginning. It's going to take a long time to do it. Since, yeah, I plan on having a lot of editing effects and all that stuff, and you know how hard that is, and... What else did I have planned? Yeah, and then the Fallen Angels, back to there with Davy's story, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it, and Kenya, like... Like, I didn't make her, like, I didn't dress her like this, so her to not wear any pants, but to still wear her boots, like, I don't even know who done this to her, but, yeah, I'm gonna get demonetized because of this. So, yeah, let's go back to the Kenya series. <coughs> okay, wrong. Well, Okay, well, okay, there it is. Okay, so we just finished the best day ever, which, well, 
it's not the worst day, but seriously, it was all just a dream again. <sighs> and she learns nothing. Like, that's all you have to know. She learns nothing again. And why is it always called a classic warning story? So I need to bring my phone here, especially since I've been kicked out of my room. So, yeah. Well, at least I know my color scheme, so it's something to make that sign pink. But at the same time, this is not good. As he says, like, this looks awful. Like, Kika is just a floating head. And again, it has my it has no name in it, so you know if it's bad, then it's not mine. Also, just like the source stories, which I didn't let you, cause the file got deleted. Like it's in an, like I've already finished the ending, so yeah, you can come back to that. Since yeah, the ending is all in here, so yep, I already read that part, so we just gotta know how it. How it begins, because since you already know the ending of, let's go to the pool, yay. God, can you? You have a terrible path, and oh my god. Let's begin. Oh my god, Kenya Classic 2, yay. Again, like the Be Forever structure, like this is not it. When it was the summer, McKenna and Kika stayed in Kenya's house when they were at Kenya's room. So are we playing Facebook again? Like I already said that um, in like the other sword story, one of the sword stories, like Facebook isn't a game. Are you serious? How many times did I have to tell you guys? Facebook isn't a game. It's a social media. Like seriously. I, I can't be like the most dumbest person to say that Facebook is a game. <sighs> Are we playing Facebook or turn on the music? McKenna asks. Well, Facebook isn't a game. Yes! Finally! Finally! Facebook is a game! Finally! I've been waiting for someone to say that! Yes, Facebook isn't a game. You see? Yes, finally! You realize that Facebook is in the game. You see that? You see that? Can you see that? Um. Well, face. You know. Well, uh, turn on music. Well, Facebook isn't a game. It's hard since, like, isn't back. It's in reverse right now. So, finally, finally, who said that? So let's turn on the music. Can you answer, Kenya? That's the best thing you ever said in this entire series. Facebook is the game. That's the best thing you said in this entire stupid series. Yes. Facebook is the game. I'm going to quote that. Yes. Let me underline it. Well, Facebook, Facebook isn't a game. Yes, Kenya. Yes. Finally. Oh, my God. So let's turn on the music. Can you answer? <sighs> Who is the girl with the snort? The sort brown hair, McKenna sings. It's Dora, Kenya, McKenna and Kika sings. You don't know who freaking Dora is? Seriously, I was a Dora-holic, so you don't know what Dora is. Go door, go, go door, go. Who's the girl with the you know, who's the girl with an amazing look? Sing Kenya is door, they all sing. Oh my god, you're like you're 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 Well technically they are supposed to be ten years old, but if we're like counting as you know the time jumps, then they're supposed to be eleven years old since Kenya's birth since the last summer story Kenya's birth, since last summer story, like, Kenya's birthday was in the springtime, and since it says that it's summer right now, then that means Kenya is supposed to be 11 years old, or 12. Yeah, the time is crazy. 
but like at the time hmm. wait no 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 because in because like the source stories like like the school stories those were in the fall time like Kenya back to school so that means Kenya is supposed to be 12 years old yes I calculated it so Kenya is supposed to be 12 years old in this story Kenya and her friends so why are you guys doing door? Like I just realized that about you know the time jump and the time of the stories. Like they always have these crazy time jumps. So Kenya is supposed to be twelve right now. But you know, like in cartoons, we still I mean not not we. I have to still make her ten years old, but technically she's supposed to be twelve. So this is like two years. Oh my god, go door, go 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 door, go. Door is amazing. It's time for dinner, so let's go. Lisa added so they went to the kitchen. Guys, we're having kid crises, said Lisa. Then McKenna saw a cartoon penguin on a box. Oh, I remember that. I forgot what they're called, but I remembered it. Yes, I think I remember that. I mean, I know I remember. I just can't really recall the name. Like, I wish I could like bring my phone more often. I mean, do I usually bring my phone when I'm doing voiceovers, such as in the Fallen Angels, like the t teaser trailer? I I brought my phone. Um, I think that's my God. I mean, I'm doing a music video, but there's no voiceovers. But yeah, I remember them. I remember that, but yeah, even I forgot what they're called at the time. Just remember seeing commercials of it, that cartoon penguin, and mm, I remember having some chocolate pudding. Oh my God, are we eating penguins? She asks. Are you stupid? Of course not, Lisa answered. We're eating chicken nuggets. Oh my god, it's spelled N-U-G-H-T-S. Then they started eating. When they were done eating, they started to think what to do until Mr. Fitbutch came. Sorry, I was at work eating the same same thing that you're eating. Oh wow, that you're a baby! He said, you have to eat kitty snacks. Kika asked, yes, because if yes, because it's bring your kids to work day, but Kenya don't want to go, so I take Kiki and Sammy, Mr. Fitchbush explained. That was the best day ever, said Kiki. Yeah, it was amazing, Sammy agreed. So if everyone have a wonderful day, let's see if some people voted, say Mr. Fitchbush. First is Kenya. I like to go to the water park so we can get water all over ourselves. I'm sorry, I have a dirty mind. Next is you, he said. My name is McKenna. Oh my god, we know what your name is. And I like to go to the water park too, too so we can wear our swimsuit and I can have fun. Well, then why don't you do a swimsuit fashion So That's another thing. That, you know. Oh, with my best friend, she said. I picked the water park too, Kika agreed. With no reason at all. Wow, just everyone wants to go to the water park. Okay, well, I mean, it's bad that filler, I guess. You know, having filler, like in Happy Birthday Kenya, is worse. So, I guess, yeah. Sort of better. Kiki, Mr. Fitchbush asked, do you want to go to the water park? No, Kika... And you know, Kiki, Kiki answered, I want to go to the pool to chill out. You mean the hot tub in the pool? Kiki corrected. Yeah, whatever, she said back. You are a mean teenager, McKenna cried. Seriously, just because she wants to go to a hot tub? That's so, like, 
Because if we carry her, she's more than... <laughs> that Kiki, just because she wants to chill in the hot tub, means that she's mean. It means that she's not those zombies like you. Like, oh, let's go to the water park. Like, just because she has her own opinion means that she's a joke. I want to go to the pool too, so I could play with, so I could play some games under the water. I'm sorry, I still have a dirty mind. <laughs> Sammy agreed. We, t we know, me too, Lisa agreed too. I'll pass and Mr. Fitchbush. So three water park and three pool. So it even. So let's do both. Yay, I want but Mr. Fitchbush and Aunt Lisa cheered. Water park first, he said. Aw, I want but Mr. Fitchbush. Kenya, McKenna, and Kika cried. So McKenna and Kika go back home to get our swimsuit. And everyone wear their swimming suit too. Um, I mean, why? I mean, why can't you go like... The community center. I mean, not right now, but you know, at the time, why not go to the community center? Cause it has a water park and a pool. <sighs> After that, McKenna and Kika go back to Kenya's house. Ready, McKenna and Kika said together. So let's go to the water park. Lisa called and McKenna was wearing a purple swimsuit. And Kika was wearing a swimsuit that has the same design as Minnie Mouse. How old are you? Seriously, how old are you? I mean, sure, sure like, based on this book, you're supposed to be 10 years old. But even 10 years old will go out of this. I mean, technically, you guys are supposed to be 12 and we're talking about the real world, but in this universe, you guys are 10 years old. So, I... Like, I'm my arm is itchy. Besides, it looks like you're playing head. Then, Kenya walked with an orange swimsuit. Well, ready, said Kenya. Okay, so let's go, said Lisa. So, Mr. Fitchbush drive them to the water park. Kika was wearing light blue polka dots. Stephen was wearing Spider-Man trunks. Why does this matter? Oh, Lisa was wearing pink cherry swimsuits, and Mr. Fitchbush was wearing black ones. When they were at the water park, everyone except the Fitchbush family won, and they get all and they get with and they all get wet. They all get wet. Such a dirty mind. Wow, said Kiki. This is like raining pollen. Wait, what does that say? It says P O L L O N. Let's keep running around and McKenna flop around like a fish with no water. Get it, wait, get it around you dirty water slimy pure evil slop, said McKenna. Wait, what? Excuse me? Um, get it around you dirty. Dirty, water, slimy, pure, evil, slop. I don't get it. Then, you know, then water come to her back. Uh, my God, there's a lot of windows. And I didn't even know any dirty things at the time. Yay, I love the wild park, said Kiki. Me too, Sammy agreed. They came up McKenna and Kika find some squeeters. So say squatters? So they carry it and squeak, squid each other, but they move a lot until Kenya squirt McKenna, but then McKenna squid Kenya back. But Kenya tried to squid Kika, but she did, so they were all out. They could tied playing, but after that, they won around holding hands. After that, McKenna saw a pole, so she squid did Kenya and Kika, then Kenya did that back. Okay, what does it matter? This is fun, said McKenna. Do you want to play tag? Kika asked. How about hide and tag, said Kenya. What's that, McKenna and Kika asked. Okay, so we're not seeking anyone. It's when somebody hides, and when somebody tries to find them, they 
they try to run so they don't tag you, but when they tag you, you're out, he explained. But who's it? McKenna asked. Since I teach you the game, maybe I could be it. Kenya answered, so Kenya closed her eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kenya counted. Wait, does it usually take 30 seconds? I mean, I never played, played I mean, I never played tag for a long time. Glad you're not here. I come. Then Kenya started looking for McKenna. We got to count by ten, McKenna said loudly. Hmm, said Kenya. I heard something. Then Kenya followed the noise. Found you. Then McKenna won. When McKenna won, Kenya followed. Kenya found Kika, so she won and followed Kenya. Okay, but you're in the water park, so what do you, like, slip over? So, like, when you're running in the water, I mean, is it hard to run in water? Well, even if it is or isn't, you guys will fall over and trip and probably lay face flat, which I hope Kenya does. Not you, Kenya, but this Kenya. Um, Kenya found Kika, so she won and followed Kika. After that, boss of the water park hold his megaphone. The water park is closed, everybody. Wait, the water park is closed. Everyone out, he called. Everyone get into quarantine. My God, I have a real microphone right here. Everyone go into quarantine. Okay, so they saw playing high attack and go to on Lisa. That was fun. <laughs> I got my voice cracked. That was fun, said Kenya. Yeah, McKenna and Kika agreed, but we're about to have more fun at the pool, said Lisa. Well, I mean, isn't it called let's have, let's, well, isn't it called let's go to the pool, not let's go to the water park? So, yeah, I mean, this is six pages. My God. Okay, so, and... The hot tub, said Kiki, and the hot tub, Lisa repeated. Yes, Kiki whispered, so everyone get their swimming bag and went to the car. Is everyone ready to get really wet, said Miss Fishbush? <laughs> oh my god, why would... My god, my dirty mind. Is everyone ready to get really wet? <sighs> God, I have a really dirty vibe. Oh my god. Yes, I was said, I can't hear you, Mr. Fitch, but yelled with his mouth covered. Why with his mouth covered? I can't hear you! Yes, I was yelled louder, so Mr. Fitch was trying to call and go to the pool. Yep, we're ready to get wet! Really, really wet! My god. When Mr. Fishbush stop at the pool, Mr. Fishbush get out of the car. Okay, you will pe Okay, why can't you just say he? Like, that's what pool that was all for. Okay, kids, sit. T paused. Then Kenya opened the door so everyone ran out. Cannonball, Sammy yelled, and everyone jumped in the pool except Kiki. While with Kiki, she saw the sign that said, 18 and older to the hot tub. No fail, Kiki stomped it. Then they saw the pool... Then they saw the pool that said, 7 to 17, so to the kiddie pool. Okay, 7 to 17 to the kiddie pool? Like, that makes no sense at all. Why call it a kiddie pool when it's 7 to 17? So Kiki started to do a kind of, like, I have a lot of voice cracks. So, okay, okay. So, okay, that was on purpose. So Kiki started to do a cannonball. While Lisa and Mrs. Fishbush step in the hot tub. Let's play a quiz game, said Kenya. Which quiz game, McKenna asked that Kenya float on her back. This quiz is called, Kenya paused for a second, coding style. 
Oh yeah, I remember having. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this quiz in a Girls War magazine. Yeah, if you don't know what Girls War is, then you know Girls War magazine. Then look it up. It's like a, it's like a magazine for like tweens and you know, for like teenagers and kids, you know, all around. And so and like you know a lot of stuff from you know Disney Channel, Disney, Nickelodeon, and all that stuff, and even Cartoon Network. Like you know all the kids stuff, and they give you like amazing advice, horoscopes. Um and quizzes and fun things to do, yeah, it's, yeah, called Ghost World. So yeah, check it out. So yeah, this was one of the quizzes at the time. <sighs> okay, let's get on with it. But who goes first? We kind of ask, and I remember this going for way too long. First is Kaya Paws, again she turned tap dance music and she was holding the microphone. Oh my god, again with the microphone. Wait, are you guys in the pool? So why would you whatever? First is McKenna and Kika. Kaya first, so they take the quiz. It's your birthday wait no, it's your birthday. What do you want to do? Do a fashion show or a mini golf? Okay, so let me take the quiz with them. Because that'll be fun. I don't know. Yeah, so let me just take the quiz with them since why not? I mean, I don't have the magazine right now, but yeah. Okay, so. Hmm, huh, so my birthday. My God, it's coming two more months, so. Like, I'm just cleaning my pen. So. Yeah, yeah, I want to draw a fashion show than mini golf. Yeah, it's true since mini golf, I mean, I can play, but I'm not really a huge golf fan. My dad doesn't really consider it a sport, so, yeah. I want to draw a fashion show, so. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, answer these questions since, yeah, this could be a lot of filler. I like some fashion. I like some fashion parties. I'm McKenna. Really? I like mini golf, said Kika. Okay, next question. Said Kenya. McKenna, which hat do you like? Cheetah or striped? Yeah, I like cheetah better. I'm wearing cheetah right now. I'm not really a big hat fanatic, but yeah, I want to wear a cheetah hat than stripes. Yeah. This is my type of design. I'm wearing cheetah right now, so what a big coincidence. I like the cheetah, she said. Now it's both of you questions, she started. Do you like glittery head do you like glittery headbands? Oh yeah. I, oh yeah, I'm a big headband fanatic too. Yeah. Well, I mean usually at school I wear headbands, not really right now, but yeah, so I'll wear a glittery hair I'll wear a glittery headband since I have one. Definitely said McKenna. Nah, Kika finished. Okay, next question she said. What do you, well, no, what do you do if your hair is bad? Put on a baseball cap or braid? Hmm. Usually I wear a headband, but now with the choices, I'll say braid. Because yeah, I usually braid my hair when, well, unless, like I really do it right now. Like usually, like when when you see my hair unbraided. Then you know you'll see this big poofy mess. Yeah, I mean you guys seen it before. Uh, so. I rather have a baseball cap because I don't know how to braid hair. Kia answered. McKenna, are you responsible? Kenya asked. Yeah, I'm not responsible. I mean, it's spelled. Like in this book is spelled R E S O N P L E, so responsible, responsible. So yeah, I wouldn't really call myself responsible. I mean, usually it depends, but yeah, I'm not really that responsible. I mean, I'm responsible for all the things that I do on my channel. Sadly, I mean happily, but sadly, same. You know, since I'm ever making a lot of amateur stuff, but 
Yeah, it's like, seriously, I will regret my first music video, which was, remind me to forget. Yeah, I will regret my first ever music video from Ontario. Yeah, I will regret making that. Since it's so cheap. And it's mostly like, uh, we, uh, we want to what previously happened the first part, so. Yeah, I, yeah, personally, I don't like it anymore, but I still kept it on my channel, on like, you know, the series that I privated and deleted, because, yeah, yikes, that series I don't like anymore. Like, most of the stuff I do, like, it's been a year, whole thing. Yeah, most of the old stuff I regret making. And that's not the only thing that I regret making. Like, even the first season of Ontari, I, I dislike the first season of Ontari, my, in my opinion, I disliked it. Because it was, because in my opinion, it was mostly just random, and, like us, oh, it's totally okay. Yeah, I disliked the first season of Ontari, because, like, I mostly just find it as usually just random, and, you know, like, it says, oh, she's happy, and now she's down, and oh, she's happy now, but then, oh no, Danny betrayed her, and oh yeah, now she's pimped up, yay, 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 and yeah, the second season, I mean, the first episode was all right, but you know, I like it right now, and I've been playing for a third season, but yeah, again, I want to try something new, I just dislike the first season of Montali, in my opinion. Since it was mostly just a roller coaster of, yeah, she's happy, then she's not, and yeah, she's happy, and now she's not. Along with Isaiah, like, I flanderized her so much, I regret flanderizing her into just this mean girl who's just only mean to Ontario and, you know, acts like a big joke and a brag and all that stuff. Yeah, I regretted that. And especially just the ending of making her like, oh, yeah, like, I hated that so much. So, yeah, I won't be responsible for that. So, yeah, I personally like the second season better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, even I have some problems with the stuff I make. You know, besides, it's not, it's not bad to criticize on your own work, you know. Plus, I like to open up some more answers to it. Okay, so. Oh my god, I'm sorry. No, the answer. Okay, she said, Kika, what do you want? Basketball or concert? She asked again. My god, this is a hard one since I would tire from basketball. It's true, I would tire from basketball. You know, I don't play anymore, and yeah, I would tire from it, so. Hmm. But at the same time, I don't do concerts. I mean, I do them. I mean, I wish I done them, but you know, because of my horrible seventh grade experience. Yeah, I'm just a bum now. I'm just a bum. Like even without you know, schools being canceled and all that stuff, every event being canceled, I'm still a bum. So. Yeah, I'd rather do basketball. She yeah, said, so I want to pick basketball. She said, now, McKenna, this is the same time as I asked, Kika. Okay, I pause. It's Braves, McKenna interrupted. Okay, McKenna, which one do you? Can I pause again? Wait, what? It's Braveslet, McKenna interrupted. Um, wow, you're like and sidekick. Okay, I whispered. So McKenna is edgy and Kika is sporty. Oh yeah, I remember taking like the last time I took this quiz the last time I took the quiz I, I got I got sporty which I mean usually I like follow my own designs, you know, blue and pool are my favorite colors, so yeah, usually I like go for you know, not really like any like naming but yeah, I usually like to go for, you know, casual and all that stuff. Like, right now, I'm just, you know, in my pajamas or loungewear. I mean, it's kind of like both, but, yeah, I just like to go casual, but I still like to get, you know, colored hair extensions. 
My god, I never dyed my hair before. I only got extensions. Zabuka and Kika kept swimming. Okay, Kika and Sammy, you will do the quiz, said Kenya. Oh, well, just, you will do the quiz with, with no, with no answer from them, you know, just, you will do the quiz or you'll die. The easiest thing to do that we can look the books, said Kiki. Yeah, good point, she said, so they read the book. When they were done, they show it. Okay, well, at least they're not, you know, wasting up time with the questions. So Kiki, Preppy, and Sammy Sporty, she said, we only saw Kaya start doing the quiz too. So I'm Edgy, just like McKenna. Oh, wow, some Edgy chicks. So, is there any other things that none of us are? McKenna asked. Yeah, yep, Kenya answered. You all are not goalie, then everyone gaps. Well, I don't want to be goalie, said McKenna. Me too, Kika agreed. Oh wow, you don't want to be goalie. Well, that's, yeah, it's insulting the goals who are actually goalie. Okay, so. Okay, girls and boy, it's time to go to the lazy weather, all these are called. Okay, so Kaya, so Kaya, McKenna, Kika, Kiki, and Sammy go out of the pool and they stand by on Lisa. To be continued. Wow. Just to be continued. Speaking of to be continued, yeah, let's, should we reread what went on? Oh my god, this is focus now. Yeah, I think we should reread what was going on, so. Oh my god, this book is all, wait, hold up. Okay, so, wait, this is page 10, but we skipped to page 13. Oh wow. Yeah, but I guess there's some pages that were whipped. Okay, so that was sort. Yep, so we skipped two pages in order to go to where we were, where we introduced the other KS series. Yep, so. My gosh, so now we need to continue with the amazing world of Dumbbell and Dolan, yay! So, since we have like enough time and I don't want to go back to my room, let's make this an hour long! Yeah, since we have enough time. God, the boy level crap. I... Oh my god! Huh, I can still read this, so how about we read the deleted story of Earth, Earth, Earth? Yep. The Amazing World of Gumball and Dolly. I'm not a vegetarian. That's what it's called, and it's. Again, I told you that it was a waste. All of that stuff is a waste, but I can still read it, and yeah, probably you guys can still read it too. So, yes. Cool, I'm not a vegetarian, since, you know, I have keen eyesight without my glasses, I can do this, so. Yeah, let's read it while we're wasting time. This up is just called The Amazing World of Gumbell, so. Yeah, let's read this. And again, the rainbow to signify that this story will be our lucky. Oh, hey, this is the first person. I realized that, so I guess the reason why I erased the whole story is because it was too different from the rest, so I erased it completely, but I can still read it. So yeah, besides making it first person is better, in my opinion. So Last night, I was moaning all night, which makes Darling wake up. Gumbel, um... What's wrong? Darling asked. Okay. 
I can still read this. I have to get a shot by the doctor now. Can you content? I pause. Said, "Oh my God!" I kept on. I kept on mourning, and that makes Anais wake up. Two. Can you please stop moaning? Said Anais. She worried about going to the doctor. Said Darling. Come on, Gumbel. It's just a shot. She said that because you didn't take when、well, you didn't have、um, take the, took a shot. I said because I eat my make. Food and vegetables, and I'm not that fat," she said. "Oh wow, fat shaming! I mean, she's not really that fat. Just fat shaming. Like seriously, I don't eat food and vegetables, and look at my, look at how I am now. Seriously, Ed, you don't even." Like seriously, you still like even if you eat all fruits and vegetables, you still have to get a shot because you know the flu and all that stuff. You know, yeah, you, you still have to get your flu and vaccine vaccine shots every once in a while. And it doesn't even matter about your eating diet; you still have to take a shot. So, what does this even have to do with you know eating healthy? Like, I'm supposed to be sharing a good meal, but it's not working. Then Nicole opened the door. Kid, you're supposed to go to sleep," said Nicole. "We know, but Gumbel keep on moaning," said Anais. "Honey, what's wrong?" Nicole asked. "I have to get a shot by the doctor," I moaned. "Don't worry, sweetheart. It's just... Oh my God! Look at. And where's the other box?" It's just a little shot," she said. "It's only one. It's only one second. Thanks, mom." I said. "Oh wow, that that will really cheer me up." Now you kind of、um, make more fle- freely freely better、um, feeling. That's what it says. Feeling better. Then we hugged. So this morning, my mom making me eat up. Bagel, but it says bagel. I we know it's wait, no, that's the way you spell your bagel. My God, how stupid I am! That's how you spell bagel. Second grade me, but I'm still hear what my mom said. Besides, Dolling finally visiting with the um an adopted fish parent. I guess she got adopted twice. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! This isn't really a Kenya story, so yeah, I'll just you know make her sit where、well, she can hide her shame, since Kenya is over with. But I'm still gonna read this away story and try to read it the best I can. Okay, so. His parent. Here, what she said. Then I close my eyes. Think what she, um, in. Then I remember that. Uh, can't read the rest of this. Um, hey, money. If the fish pack can talk. Um, I miss you. Um, I miss you. Too, darling, cried with you. She is a fish. Whisper, it will come. Bell and Gumbel, it's time, time to go to the doctor. So did, darling, me and I with her mom, with her adopt, with well, technically first adopted mom. Dang, getting adopted twice. Imagine that. Imagine that.
Um, coming, I said, then I walked slowly down the stairs. Come on, Gumbel, we're going, we're going to, uh, what, I could kill you and ace. Shh, I said, they'll, okay, I can't read this. I quit, but I'll show you the pictures. Anyway, so, this, yeah, I quit on reading this. Let it be forgotten. Oh my god, this was in Morgan. What the actual... Yeah, I quit already trying to read this. Oh my god, well... Oh my god, they're forced to eat vegetables. All that stuff is going on. I actually call it vegetables good. Okay, so yep, we're skipping. Cause I can't read that shit. Okay. My god, I tried to edit out this one. Wow, okay, so so this one so we're skipping that one. Try to read it but I can't. The Amazing World of Gumball and Darling. Study Buddy Date. Yay. My god, I've never had a boyfriend before, so how do I even know about this? And I tried to use my adding skills in this one, actually. Lift the rainbow on the start, of course. Having an unlucky side of this is gonna be a Okay. Here's the photo. Dang, pen was blocked. Wow. So, yeah, let's do this. Like, you can tell by this, I've tried to use my editing skills. Like, look at this. Look at all this editing I tried doing. Uh, so let's read it. <sighs> Is this the last out of? Oh my god! Yeah, I like one well, the last one. So let's just say that. I mean, how many pages? Oh god, that's... Okay, so... Oh my god! Okay, so this is meant to be this long? Okay, whatever. I'm up for the challenge. Besides, it's two space, so maybe it's not as long as it looks to be. It was Valentine's Day at Elmo Junior High, so Gumball and Dolan have a big science project, so they listen to Miss Simmons. And... Oh, why, class? Since it's Valentine's Day, well, since it's Valentine, I have to be nice for once to pick your Valentine, said Miss Simmons. <laughs> um, well, oh my god, imagine having that as a real, a real project, you know, like, pick your Valentine, everybody. Like, seriously, I mean, Valentine's can be like, you know, every, anyone. You know, any of your friends, but as you guys know, I have no friends, so with me, I have no Valentine, so wow. Just wow. That everyone was, like, I always happy for glad. Except Darling. Yeah, except me too. Since, my god, I will be happy when they say choose your Valentine's because I don't even have friends to begin with. And oh my god, they have no eyebrows. I just realized that, like, that Tobia picture. Yep, Tobia's back. Like, is she in every, every story? She doesn't need to be. I mean, the worst part is that she has no hairline or eyebrows or any of that stuff. Because she don't have a boyfriend or a special valentine. Same here. After that, Dolan came up to Gumbel. Gumbel, help me, she said. What you want, buddy? Gumbel asked. I don't have a boyfriend or a special valentine, she cried. Yeah, same. I'll be, I'll be scared, too. Yeah, because not everyone has a boyfriend. Like, even in high school. 
Like, they were in middle school, I'm in high school, so, like, even in high school, I still don't have one. Okay. Don't worry, but even if i not your boyfriend, I still love you, she said that they hug. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that, Penelope came. Hey, Gumbel, said Penelo. Oh, and I remembered. Oh, hey, I want the date now. It says April 16, 2015. So, at least we know what the date is, 2015. Dang, since I remember having this sub in fourth grade where, you know, she wants us to write and, you know, it's supposed to, like, mark the date. So, I did that and pretend that, you know, I'm writing... Or, you know, like, stories and all this money. I am. I was writing stories, but, you know, not the types that she probably is probably like, I don't know, I put some narrative, so that's what I was doing. Yep, so I cheated my way into, you know, acceptance. So, Penwell, but Gumbel is about to say hi until Tobia interrupted. And Tobia didn't forget, but since, you know, and Tobia, don't forget, but since you don't like Gumbel that much, you will be my valentine, she said. Oh my god, that photo looks awful. Like, seriously, what's with, like, that hairstyle? It's just... The Pedalo's hairstyle, it's just so... Like... Like, hair... Like, hair cut goes wrong, and... Tobia, oh my god, she's still wearing that rainbow jumpsuit, and... Her hair looks like a total mess, and she has no hairline or eyebrow. Like, that just looks awful. Like, seriously. If I have to read all the Tobia pictures... Hmm. Okay, so where did we so last saw her? Oh god, don't remind me of that boy lover. Oh yeah, that was the last time we saw her, so yeah, she looks much better in this design. So yeah, this guy, so yeah, but this one... And what did she look like the last, the last, last time, the last, last time? Oh yeah, that... Actually, when I'm really compared to then, that, okay, she doesn't really look that bad anymore. Wait, what am I just saying? Yeah, I think that, like, yeah, this gotta be, like, the worst picture of her. Seriously. No, I don't even like you. Wow, just savage. Just, I don't even like you. However, Gumbel and Darling were still hugging. Yep, because of that. You know what? Gumbel, you will will you be my Valentine? He asked, and suddenly Gumbel stopped hugging Darling. Oh wow, what about um what was it? Um, like pals before uh, I mean they're girls in this, so I don't know, gal, like, it's hard, it's still gold, so, like, it's usually, I mean, like, friends before lovers, let's just say that, even though if they were, like, boys, then it will be, like, pals before gals, or boys before, <laughs> okay, yep, so it's, like, if they're boys, they'll be pals before gals, or bros before, <laughs> Balls are for gardening tools. Okay. Sorry, darling. I'm taken. Gumbel whispered that then Gumbel was lovesick. Yep. I still don't know what, how lovesick feels like. Tell me how lovesick feels like. After that, Dolly was disappointed that she didn't 
have a valentine. Yikes, I can't believe I don't have a boyfriend. Me too, she said. Who will be my valentine now? Why you say that out loud? Then suddenly, Carol walked past Darling, but he saw how sad she was, so he came up. So he come up to her. What about kid? You're not happy without a Valentine. Whoa, what's wrong, Darling? Carol asked. I don't have a date because I'm only ten, not twelve, like you guys. Oh my God, whoa! I'm 14 and I still don't have a boyfriend? You're serious. Like, seriously, it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, seriously, I'm 14 and I still don't have a boyfriend. So, why are you complaining that, you know, 12 year olds like, they can have a boyfriend? Oh, whatever. This logic. Okay, let's back it up. Don't worry, all girls are older than boys, but they are still in love with each other. Okay, not all girls are older than the boy. Are you serious? And besides, what about, you know, the homosexuals? What about them? Don't we include them? I mean, I have no clue about them at the time. Even though, like, it's not really inappropriate. It's just, you know, your beliefs in life. You know, it's just what you feel like. It's just, you know, what you think. And it's okay. So, my god. It's like, not all girls are older than boys. Sometimes, bo sometimes girls are older than boys. Like, it doesn't even matter the age. That's why I'm saying, will you be my fellow time without dating? Sure, said darling, just friends. While with Gumbel? She went to Penwell's house. Oh my god, her mouth. Gumbel rings the doorbell, so Mr. VZ Gerald opened the door and he saw Gumbel. Hey, who are you, Mr. VZ Gerald? Gerald asked. Oh, this is my girlfriend, Gumbel, he said. Hey, Mrs. VZ Gerald. He said, then Pamela's mom came. Yes, sweat hot! Sweat hot. Oh my god. Wait, where's Penwell in this photo? Hey, yes, sweat hot? She said, Not you, Miss Gumbel. Then Mr. Fizzy Gerald comes to. Gumbel cat yell. Here, Gumbel, I want my son to be happy, and if he cries about you, I will feel the pain of you, and you will. My god, classic dads, classic fathers. Mr. Fizzy Gerald paused while Gumbel in no oh, up um him. Oh my god, there's a deleted there's a deleted line. Which I'm gonna like compare the deleted one to the one that said right now so the deleted one even though i scratch it out it's in pen so i can still read it so love to him so here's the deleted one wow mr fizzy gerald you're just your stories so your stories are so boring she said come on gumbell pillow let's go and okay so that was what she was originally gonna say but then i changed it to him okay Sorry, Mr. Fizzy Gerald, I can't hear you, said Gumbels. Just go studying, he said, so they went to Powell's room. Okay, so... But she still acted like a joke in both of them. 
Oh my god. He's still a ghost. What's the point of changing that to humans when they're still... He's still a ghost. And we reached the one hour mark. Yay. While with Darling, she went to Gumbel's house. Or a new house, but she... Well, she was about to open the door until Carol catch up. Darling, let the man do it. Seuss. Darling laughed a bit while Cole tried to open the door. He was a ghost, so it, so it, so the, however, he was a ghost. So the door go to his body, so he screamed. Okay, why would he scream if he already knows it then? Seriously, this is so long and I'm really thirsty. Let like, me bring about water here. And a few seconds later, Carol came back and he take deep breath. Number one, your house is pretty neat. And number two, I think you should open the door, he said. So Darling opened the door while they went to Gumbel's house. And Elise was watching her favorite show, Daisy the Donkey. Hey, adopted sis, said Dolly. Okay, why? Why even call them that? Like, seriously, I hate you. Probably because they've never been adopted before. So why would you just, you know, buy say, hey, adopted sis, or something like that. Or, hey, um, hey, sister-in-law, like, you don't use those terms. Like, they're supposed to be your family, not your adopted family. Like, like if you don't feel like that they're supposed to be your family, then, okay, just say their real names. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Dolly? Darling, we got enough adopted sibling for now, she said. This is not another adopted brother, said Darling. Anais, meet Carol. Carol, meet Anais. Nice to meet you, Carol, she said. But why are you here? We are study base for our important science projects, she said. Then Anais paused the TV. How important is it? It's very important, Dolly said. Super important, Carol added. So important that coronavirus can't stop it. Soup okay. It's like a big explosive portal, she added that Dolly and Carol make some weird noises like <laughs> Okay, so Anais, I'm going to my tea party. Just Okay, I'm just like, she's so a ghost! Wait, did I forget to show you that picture? Yes, she's so a ghost! Oh my god, and he's really well, surprised of that. Like, seriously, so a ghost! Is anyone gonna, like, I don't know, Ghostbusters? I don't know what to call it. Big, 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 Dolly contents. Oh, she's gone. Now let's get started, he says. So Dolly and Carol went to the kids' room. While with Gumbel, she just sat there doing nothing. So, Gumbel, do you know how gravity pulls? Pella asks. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to sound lovesick the entire time since I think I know how, to, like, since... Yeah, I know how to sound lovesick. Okay, watch me. Oh no, what should I say? That would be too much for him. She said in her head. Okay, I got it. Let's make a air, a air magnet and a jaw so the gravity gets pulled by it. Gabriel said quickly. Oh yeah, an air magnet. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one up my air magnet. Yeah, just watch. I have one up my... Yep, here's my air magnet. That's a great idea. So we could see how gravity works, he said. That was a close one, she said in her head. Thanks, Gumbel. Then I winked to myself and Pamela winked back. Even if I wasn't talking to him, then Gumbel winked. It says wick. Back at Pamela. Wick. Back that we have a wick a wicking contest a wicked competition. Oh my god, wicked competition! Like, like okay, watch me and Kenya do this. Okay. 
Okay, now you need to see both our faces, so. so like, it's like a staring competition, except, you know, winking, so. <laughs> Can't was a little bit late on that. Keys of that one got crossed out. There's a lot of editing I done. Later in gun battles. Oh my god, we even get to see it. I don't know if you stay on the full ground. They just sit there and do nothing. Um, but, darling Mon, what should we do? Luckily, I bring my potion to kill that he hold the potion that will make darling turn into a ghost. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's not realistic fiction, so there's no excuse that, you know, all this random stuff can happen. I mean, with the chaos series, I said that was realistic fiction, so... Yeah, that was no, no excuse for, you know, all this wild stuff to happen, like, you know, hail spinning you around. So, yeah, I can, I can take it. Um, then he hold, okay. If you, if you wake one sip, then you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, I remember this from the show. Yeah, it was called Halloween. Yes, I remember this from the show. Okay, I now I'm sorry like get a memory of it. Yes, if you take one sip, then you'll be fine. If you drink the whole bottle, you'll turn to a ghost. Okay, so then why take it at all? The dolly was surprised. Let me have some, said dolly. Then she almost had it until Carol swept swipe it from her. Stop, said Carol. Only ghosts can hold it, so I have to treat you like a baby. Oh my god. And she's still colored. So Darling drink the whole bottle while Carol hold it, then she turned into a ghost, so he said, How do you feel? Oh my god. Just look how awkward this looks. I feel like I don't have any lungs or heart, but I'm still alive, she said. Okay, well, like, I wonder how that feels. I mean, can fish really feel sad? You know, can fish feel it? Okay. So, can you breathe out? He asked again. The only tried to take a deep breath. Nope, it not, she said. Congratulations, you did our product, said Carol. Then they hold hands and dance, but in a few minutes later, they stop. Oh, I just stopped. So, could you turn me back into a human? Darling asked. Sorry, it only wears off into midnight, said Carol. Okay, she said. Then let's write what we learned today. The darling ball Carol's ghost pen. Gumbell and Pamela was going in fast motion on the planet. Okay, wow, he didn't, like, like, seriously, there's no chapters in this. And there's no paragraphs, so we just gotta get stuck with, you know, this time jump. Like, we have to deal with it on the project, but they were still waking until Gumbel stopped. That is, I gave up, she said, while Pelo stopped waking, so they continued doing the project in fast motion. But a few minutes later, Dolly and Carol were done with their project and hear what it looked like. Okay, so, like, do I even know those two? Like, I don't know the supernatural. My god, it says. Does ghost weaver now? No, because it's easy if you have sticky breath or have a stuffed up nose. Okay. 
I guess, yeah. Wow, said Carol. This science project is wonderful. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? said Dolly. Besides, I wonder what Gumbel's doing. Yeah, I wonder what anyone else is doing too, he said. Oh, finally, you added an indent. Finally. That indent is perfect, by the way. Like, finally. I know how to separate my story, the paragraphs. After that, Gumbel and Pendle was done with their science project too, and it looked like this. Oh wow. Yeah, so you have so many pictures. Okay, since we're done, let's say our lines, said Pamela, so Gumbel read her line. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? God? Frankenstein? Dracula? She said in a deep, in a deep voice. Okay, so, who do you want to be? God? Frankenstein? Dracula? She said in a deep voice. Wait, wait, that's not on the script, said Pamela. Or a ghost like Carol. Stick to the script, Gumbel, he said. Oh, sorry. Miss Simmon, first I got nothing to say. But then when Pello asked me something, I just blurted out the word air magnet. So I made an air magnet. Pello made a jaw, so here I work. Then Gumbel, oh, here I work. Then Gumbel, but the air magnet in the jaw, she put her air helmet all before she did the experiment and then the air magnet and then and turned the air magnet and all the air was stuck in the jaw so Gumbel closed it. Oh wow I can see that happening in like Avatar or something like that. Like seriously an air magnet? Like you get it to the wrong hands. Like oh. Then all the air was stuck in a jaw, so Gumbel closed it. Pello can't breathe because he doesn't have an air helmet. Oh wow, so you're just gonna kill him! Yay! I mean, he sort of deserves it from, you know, the last, well, I mean, not the last story, but, you know, Boy Lover when, like, seriously, that plan to make her heart broken? Yeah, Pello deserves that. Pello deserves not to breathe at all. Um, okay. So Gumbel opened the jaw in Pello's mouth. Now Pello, take a deep breath, said Gumbel, so Pello take all the air out. Best science project ever, they both said. Then Nicole came to the kids' room. Gumbel, darling, it's time for Nicole paused while she saw Carol and darling. Oh my god, I didn't invent that. Hi, Miss Mom, it's me, darling, she said. Oh my god. And look at that. Yes, kill Pello! Number one, why are you still calling me Mrs. Mom? Because she can. She can. And number two, Wait, look, number two, what is wrong with you, she asks. Number one is Mrs. Mom. Number one, I like Mrs. Mom. And number two, Carol turned to a ghost, said Darling. Carol, what have you done to my adopted baby? Oh my god! Just bring that word adopted again. Yeah, it's not like that you're real family, no! How many pages are there? This is going to be the longest one, and... Oh my, okay, so, like, I don't want this to be super long, so, my god, I forgot the number of these pages now. Wait, so they have to make a part two or something, and oh my god. 
Another two kills for me to go, said Darling. Killed what ha okay, I'll be right there. Sorry, Mrs. Mom. It's all science part that Carol explained. Let's not get off topic. Besides, it's time for bed. Well, lucky I bring my mattress, he says. So Carol pulled out his mattress, and he also let Darling share with. Well, you kids have a ghoulious night. What do you mean, Mom? What do you, Mom? What do you, Mom, means? Carol asked. Ghost night, she said. You mean good night? Darling collected her. Oh, well, just goes to sleep. Oh, God. Like, she's, she's just trying to make puns. I mean, it's funnier than what's going on here. Can you make some real senses? She said, but her coach just turned the lights and she shut the door. The Carol and Darling wake up by herself. Oh, do you mean themselves? Oh, okay, whatever. What time is it? Carol asked excitedly. It's time for sleep, said Anais. Besides, when I came to my room, I have three questions. Number one, where is Gumbel? Number two, what happened to you, darling? And number three, why is Carol sleeping in our room? All very good questions that I could put in one sentence, she said. Miss Simmons said we could pick our Valentine's so panel pick Gumbel till she sleeping in Powell's house. Our experiment is how ghosts breathe, so Carol turned me into uh this is how ghosts breathe. So Carol turned me into a ghost that only wear off this midnight. So the point is if you study so the point is if you study on your study buddy's house, then you get to stay there, okay? She explained that Anna is made a real face like this. And nodded. Okay, kid, it goes. It's time for breakfast. Oh, wow, that fast. Um, okay, look at this. Breakfast, said Nicole, so they went downstairs to eat breakfast. Mom, said Annalise, you make a smiley face again with more bacon? <laughs> and the ghost body on it? Mrs. Mom, you're not funny anymore. Was she always was she funny before? Darling said, come on guys, eat up. Nothing will hurt you, she said in a funny way. Oh my god. Again with... Yep, gotta make that one joke. Okay, they all said, so they started to eat the ghost face. And this tastes good, said Anais, but Dolly and Kale cannot eat because they have a ghost body, so it looks like they were pooping out pancake. Okay, that's one way to put it. Oh, why? She said, you're all ghosts, so Kale and... I mean, she's still colored, so... Carol, do you have a uh, one mid midnight? It says midnight. One midnight spell and a forever spell. Yes, I do. I got all spells. You tell me, said Carol. So he got one pancake, midnight spell, and one forever spell on one pancake. So Dolly and Carol eat the pancake. While with Gumbel and Penlo, they have a bagel with jelly and yogurt with fruits on them. My god, I wish I could have that. To be honest, that sounds delicious. And and that goes to the person who doesn't like jelly and doesn't like yogurt and doesn't like fruit. Seriously, that sounds delicious. Mm. Maybe I should try it out one time. Yeah, I think I should try it out since you no know, whenever I see like the like the fruit then they always look delicious, but I always say that I don't like them, but they really do look scrumptious in my opinion, but yeah, I need to try something new since my tongue is like really bland. Mmm, Mrs. Fizz, Fizzy, Fizzy Jill, this is the best thing ever, said Gumbel. It's even better than my mom's smiley face breakfast meal. Well, I'm glad you said that, Gumbel, she said with a smile. 
Now you kids need to go to the bus stop when you're done eating. Okay, Mrs. Busy Jewel, and what's with Pendle's face? This is probably gonna be the longest one. No thanks to Kenya. So. How long is this gonna be? You know what? How about let's end it here? Yeah, but just gonna end it here. My god, spoil what? There's like no ending to the second story, so. Yep, so this is it. Since I'm getting really dusty and bored and I want to listen to my music and I want to continue the music video since I'm about done with it. And you're gonna like the story a lot. There's a lot of development and yeah. So yeah, I want to continue getting it back to work. <sighs> I'm dusty so hope you enjoyed and I just tired so yeah, I'm not really like in the mood. I only just done this because I got kicked out of my room. Kicked out of my room so yeah, that's the only reason, so how do I sum all of this up? My okay. god, I'm just waiting for all these stories to end. Especially since I'm not in a very good mood, so yeah. So yeah. Don't know what else to say, but the KS series is finally over. Finally and officially. Like before I said, yay, the KS series is finally over, but nope. We got, we found the Lost King of Book by Ice Dread. This is all I remember for the King series, so. Yep, the King series is over. It's finally over with. So I'm done with Kenya in general. And where's my, where's the balloon that was? Oh, it fell. Okay, typing up carefully since I do not like balloon popping. I'll probably just leave it there. Okay, let's just leave it there. It just fell. Okay, so I finally know the Kenya series, so goodbye, Kenya. And also, let's draw this book into, let's draw this Kenya series book. I mean, there was like a lot of filler with, you know, calling Facebook a game, but that's all. Let's just draw this into the pits of house. And also, speaking of that, let's wait these stories so far, so... Yeah, the Love Combat is still the best one out of them. Yep, so... Number one, you know, the best has to be the Love Combat so far. Like, the story was really messy, and... Yeah, it was supposed to be like this reality TV show thing, but... With couples? Yeah, with a lot of knockoffs. And a lot of cheesiness going on. Like seriously, most of the couples are forgettable or like like the same. Most of them are like the same thing. Like oh, like oh, she likes him, but they only see each other as friends. Or this couple see each other as friends. This couple see each other as friends. Like, like that's what happened. But at least I was self aware myself. Like seriously, why do they all see each other as friends? But you know, I like Paisley and Lucas. Like I said, those are like the same in Grace. From them, from you know the boring ass couples. So yeah, Paisley and Lucas were like the saving grace out of all of them, and seriously, like Lucas' story was so bad that was good. I still remember it. And Paisley, like she was a good villain until you know she started becoming savvy and saying, "Oh yeah, I don't want to do bastards. I have a boyfriend." But so far that was the best out of them, all because of Lucas and Paisley being the saving grace. But the songs, they were not good songs. I mean, they're they were good songs, but not in the point of the story. Like, they're good songs, but you no, know, not in the story. And second place. Um, hmm. Yeah, the second story that is. Yeah, the second one. Like, so far, so far, by the way, it. Has to be like I'm kind of like the series, not all individual books. Like the series, each series, second one has to be uh, 
Um, how about my old songbook? That's gotta be like the second best one. Since like my old songbook, that's gotta be the second best since you know it was most like even though it was the young, it was the most oldest one. It's at least you know it's at least self aware, but you know it's random and but at least it's you know knows that it's random and knows that it's this thing that shouldn't exist. So yeah, my old songbook has to be the second best. And the third one has to be The Amazing World of Gunpowder and Dolly. Like, that one, like, this story is pretty all right. Like, there's a lot of nitpicks, but... Yeah, this this one gotta be, like, the second best one. Since, yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. There's a lot of wonky stuff with my logic, and, but, yeah, it's so okay. So yeah, that gotta be like the second, I mean, the third, the third best one, and the fourth one has to be the Kenya series. So the Kenya series is the fourth bet, is the, well, second war, so I say. So the Kenya series, there was a lot of going on, and I regret doing the Kenya series. Because, like, this was more wonky than this, like, compare it to, like, the Kenya series was more wonky than the Amazing World of Gunbell and Darling, so that so the Kenya series gotta be like the second worst one. Because they call Facebook a game and you know all this mean spirited towards Sammy. And yeah, just Kenya I got like a huge <laughs> just that. And a lot of mean spirited humor. Along with tons of filler, so that's gotta be the second worst and of course the worst out of all of them are me and my four effin friends. Like, that's the worst. Me and my four effin friends. Like, it was humiliating to my childhood. It was humiliating to, you know, everything. Like, I remember accidentally saying one girl's name during the recording. So, yeah, I probably didn't hear that. But, yeah, me and my four effin friends is the worst one. Like, it was just so strong. So, yeah. I'm getting really tired, so let's just end it here and probably do another one because, yeah, I'm not feeling in a good mood, so, yep, see ya, wouldn't want to be me, uh.